Werribee's Player of the Week is brought to you by The Gordon, helping people gain real skills for real jobs for over 125 years. So we're here for Werribee TV with our Gordon Player of the Week. The Gordon, of course, real skills for real jobs. And we are at Avalon Airport Oval where, unfortunately, uh, we've had another very close Easter loss to Geelong over the weekend, but uh, almost managed to pinch a win. And one man who played a significant role in the fight back uh, was Max Augurinus. He is our Gordon Player of the Week for Round 3. Max, um, a disappointing result uh, in the end, um, particularly in light of uh, the bit of history that you guys have with Geelong in recent years. Yeah, it was a bit disappointing. Um, sort of gave ourselves a pretty long way to catch up on into the last quarter. So, um, yeah, I think if, if we played a bit better earlier, it could have been a different story. But, um, yeah, that history against Geelong, we just... They're always close games and we never seem to uh, beat them in my time here, yeah. So uh, obviously a lot changed in the in the last quarter. You really got to roll on, kick five straight goals to um, to almost pinch the win. What changed from a team point of view? What did you start uh, executing and uh, and doing differently? Yeah, I think we, um, we struggled in the midfield early and, and how we transitioned defensively and we just sort of took the game on, started being creative and played it on our terms and just um, turned the game around and knew what we were doing wrong, identified that. and. Um, yeah, we got on our terms and it was just another couple of minutes. Could have been a different story. One thing that played a, a real role and had a real impact in the last quarter was your move into the midfield. Can you talk us through um, how that all came about? Because we've obviously seen you play a bit of time in the midfield uh, back in 2017, but you've largely been playing forward in recent times. Yeah, so um, Matt Hanson went down with cramps around half-time because he was sick during the week. So um, I think wanted a bit of speed through there and... Um, yeah, Daff, I think it was Daff's call when he got me in there and, yeah, I was lucky enough to get a few clearances and get the ball going our way and, yeah, did my best to help the team. As mentioned, 2017 was when we saw you uh, playing through the midfield predominantly, but you've obviously spent a bit of time out, had another knee reconstruction and worked your way back in into that forward role. Um, how is the body holding up at the moment? Are, are you physically where you want to be? Yeah, I've had a full pre-season, which is pretty rare for me, so... Um, yeah, play the first three games, getting through really well, running them out. And yeah, the body's, body's feeling great. And hopefully I can just get a full year of EFL footy in. That's the, um, that'll be the aim. Well, you'll be back next week against the, uh, the Northern Blues mm. at Icon Park again, where you'll have pretty fond memories of the last time you played them there. Not so fond memories of the last time the team played Northern Blues, though, last year. Um, yeah. what, do you, what do you need to do to, well, not only turn the tables on them, but, um, but turn the tables from last week in what's happened against Geelong? Yeah, so we'll be focusing on what we can do better and um, Northern Blues have started the year really well. They're, they're winning close games and that's obviously a strength for theirs so we're going to have to um, really battle it out and it probably be another close game and we've got to learn from what we did wrong this week and um, put into practice uh, what we're working on at training and hopefully um, we'll back each other in. Hopefully that'll be enough to get over the line. Well, Max, um, bad luck on the result on the weekend but well done on your performance and uh, all the best against the Blues over the weekend. Cheers. Thanks for that. Thanks, guys. This has been the Gordon Player of the Week, the Gordon Real Skills for Real Jobs.